Hello guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate any task in Windows using AutoHotKey. If you have been using Microsoft Word and if you like to automate things, then you might have heard about macros. But macros are available only for Microsoft Office, especially Microsoft Word and PowerPoint and a few others, few other softwares of Microsoft Office, right? But there is a way to automate most of the things in Microsoft Windows anywhere by using a special software called AutoHotKey. This software is free, of course. You can download it from uh, this link and install it. It is a very light software and it works wonderfully well. I have used it for so many days. I'm going to show you how you can automate most of the things in Windows. This video, I'm going to cover nine most important shortcut key that I have made that, that is saving my time. I use this auto hot key to launch any software. I can launch Notepad, Notepad++, plus plus, Chrome, open a folder. I can assign keyboard shortcut for opening any Windows software or Windows application. So I'm going to show you one simple software. This is a script that I use for opening a so uh, opening a Notepad++. Plus plus. Right, this this is a shortcut key and this it uh, this is a command of auto hot key and this is a return it shows that this is the end of a script so this symbol if uh, if you're new to auto hot key this symbol is for windows window key so if i press window n it should open up type plus plus so first i'm going to minimize back plus plus and then i'm going to press windows n see this has opened but this not only works when it is minimized even when it is closed right now you can see the notepad plus plus is not open Right. The moment I press window N, it opens a notepad plus plus for me. Right. So by using this simple three line shortcut, three line script, you can open any software that is installed in your windows by using a keyboard shortcut. The next thing that I use auto hotkey for is for auto correct. I can use it to auto correct any text and entire windows, not only in particular software. This is a shortcut for auto correct. So I configured auto hotkey to correct me when uh, correct T E H spelling to the T H E K and W O to no. And this is a, uh, if I type this, you correct it to the correct spelling of environment. I'll show you how it works. It works here wonderfully well. I'll show you T E. The moment I press H, it will convert T E H to T H E. Right? It doesn't work only in Notepad. It works everywhere. If I press Ctrl F, T E H, okay, it is correcting my spelling. So in my description, you will find list of commonly misspelled words, and that you can directly use it in your auto hotkey. But the third thing that I want to tell you is auto hotkey can also be used for expanding the abbreviations, right? Suppose if you are messaging, we generally type U, but in text, in desktop, actually, uh, instead of Y O U, I just type U. So I I've told autocorrect whenever I just press U and space, then you should place that text by Y O U. Simply, then I, in Facebook, I have to type happy birthday, happy birthday so many times. There are so many friends on my, in my Facebook. Okay, so I have just made a shortcut for happy birthday is HBD. Okay, simply you can use if you have a girlfriend, you can use ILU to, to as a shortcut for I, am, I love you. Right, I'll show it here. The moment I press I L U and space it converts into I love you. So there is a difference between uh, abbreviation to full, uh, this this kind of shortcut and this shortcut. Uh, in this shortcut, actually, I need not press space; it automatically correct. However, yeah, when I use a script of auto hotkey like this, I need to press space. So it's it's up to you whether you want to auto correct it when I press you uh, like this or like this. So it depends on you. Now, next shortcut by using auto hot cake and sign keystrokes to windows let us see with an example control f1 this control sign this caret sign refers for control key so if i press control f1 it will do this kind of thing this control as i already told this caret sign is for control so it will control x that is a cut it will cut and type this word latex and paste whatever i have cut here and again type type this this uh, word right so why am i using this thing so in my wordpress blog i i made i have to type equations scientific equation mathematical equations many of times so there is a wordpress plugin uh, so this is a latex equation so if i type this latex equation in my wordpress blog it doesn't uh, convert this text into latex so i use some plugin which tells me if i 
press if I type anything under this uh, in between this latex tag this is the opening tag of latex and this is a closing tag so if I type anything in between this latex tag it will convert this our latex in, into a real equation right so I use this kind of software so see uh, so instead of typing this into my blog I should type this so I, I already have a latex document of a technical content into my PC however if I copy the same content into my WordPress blog it doesn't this this latex uh, shortcut for alpha beta gamma this is pi r square r is to 2 this doesn't convert into a normal equation so I need to enclose all the equation in between latex braces so what I do is I select it and I press control f1 and it convert this thing into latex I want to just replace this thing control f1 this is control f1 so this is how I use this shortcut auto hard key for converting my latex documents into a wordpress blog right i just press ctrl f1 wherever i find equation and this is how i use this send key feature of windows okay so this is very useful it saves a lot of time so if you have this kind of application as well you can use it this was just an example of showing how to send key to windows so this is sending key ctrl x it will cut something so if i if i select this thing so first it will cut it then type the keyword latex then paste it and then type the closing latex tag so this is what i have done it using auto hotkey it will cut type the opening latex uh, tag then paste whatever i have selected and type the closing latex tag so this is how i use this auto hotkey and it has really saved a lot of time so the next thing that i really like about auto hotkey is searching a google i want to quickly search this task keyword into google so what do i do i have made a shortcut key that is window g that will uh, that will search any of my selected text in any of the windows not only in chrome in any of the windows into a google but this is a shortcut for that this is a script for that i'll show it to you so i want to search windows in google right this is a good, good example so the moment i press windows g it will search the keyword windows in google so let us do it let's try it windows g see this is this is what it has searched i'll show you another way another example i have selected clipboard and i want to search clipboard in google so windows g see this is how i this is how it is working it is working very nicely right so you can use it to def uh, to search any text in your specific website and this is a code you just have to replace this text right this is searching in google you can search it in wikipedia this is a second example suppose if i want to search something in wikipedia i just press windows w to search a selected thing whatever i selected in wikipedia suppose in wikipedia i want to search on i want to search something ah, let us search for clipboard okay so i'll type windows and w and it will search this text clipboard in wikipedia right and if i press windows g it will search it in google uh, this is shortcut that i love the most and i can search any content from any windows into a net now next cool feature of auto hotkey is i can reassign keys there are some keys like numlock key which i am not using that much right so i can convert numlock key into a shift key right by just this one line script okay so i have assigned a num i have reassigned a numlock key to work as a shift key now num see i want to type caps capital a so what i do is i press shift okay i will do it in other right now i have to type u s a okay so for that I, I may use caps lock or i may use shift key now i since i have reassigned numlock key i can use numlock key as a shift key i will i am pressing numlock key and then typing u s a it is coming as capital that means it is working as a shift key so this is one of the one of the way by use by which you can reassign keys you can not only reassign keys you can assign some specific function to any key for example i am not using insert key much okay so i have reassigned key i have just paste copied the cop i have just copied this script which, which will search the selected word in wikipedia i have just copied and pasted it here so my insert key is now working as 
a search on Wikipedia key. It is just like a Wikipedia key. So, so if I select something and press insert key, it will search the selected text into a Wikipedia. Okay, so now pressing a uh, insert key, it should search a clip or whatever I have selected into a Wikipedia. And this, this is how it, has, it is working. So it is really great. So you can assign key for anything you want. Okay, this is just an example. Okay, now one more thing that I like about Auto Hotkey is it works on any of the, it works anywhere in the Windows, right? Next example is I am using this Auto Hotkey to toggle in my favorite, favorite Windows. Now I can always toggle between Windows by using Alt Tab or Windows Tab. But when I press Alt Tab, I have to press it multiple times if I want to toggle between some Windows. Okay, so I can write a function. As this is a simple function I'll just put this all these files all the shortcuts in a description below so that you can also use it so this is a function okay and by using this function I have used this key that is for toggling between Chrome windows right this is alt C and this is uh, if I press alt C it will, it will minimize and maximize only Chrome window so my Chrome window is already minimized See, if I press Alt C, my Chrome, if it is maximized, it should be minimized, and if it is minimized, it should be maximized. Okay, so so here I am pressing Alt C, and my Chrome is getting maximized. Now again, if I press Alt C, it will get minimized. Okay, so wherever I am, if I have n number of windows open, I can just minimize and maximize Chrome by using one key. So sometimes it is better if I have opened a multiple windows, say let us say PowerPoint, Word. Uh, Windows Explorer, Notepad or any other software and then Chrome so I just want to quickly look into Chrome so I just press Alt C for Chrome I can make it for other Windows also I can make it for Notepad++ plus plus for, for Windows Explorer for Microsoft Word for PowerPoint etc but this is just a simple example of that it will search for this keyword Chrome in any of the open windows and you can toggle it right so this is uh, this is also one of the way by you by which you can use auto uh, now this one is my favorite many of times I uh, I have to save a screenshot into file right so for, for that what do I do I, I just press print screen then I go into paint and then paste whatever is that whatever I have captured in my print screen to Microsoft paint and then save it so I can do all these things in just one click so this is an example window p uh, this is a shortcut of uh, of taking a screenshot pasting it, it into paint and saving it, saving it so if i press windows but windows and p it will just take a screenshot it will run ms paint it will open microsoft paint and then it will sleep for uh, this is actually required if i don't do this actually opening paint will take some time so if I uh, immediately press Ctrl V, it will not. It might have not opened. So I have to uh, give some pause. That is 500 millisecond is a pause. You can change it. If a PC is fast, if you want to make it slow, you can just change this uh, sleep time. Okay. Then I am pasting that whatever uh, whatever I have taken as a screenshot. Then again I am uh, holding it for one second, and then I am I am again saving it. Ctrl S, and then that's it so pressing windows p will do will send all this command and it will result in taking a screenshot pasting into paint and saving the image now i don't know by what name i will save so just i will press windows p and a saving dialog box should appear where it will ask me to save a paint image which is uh, image which was a screenshot so i'll just quickly do it and i have to press windows p so i'll press windows p does open paint uh, I pasted whatever is there in my screen and then pressed control save so this is how I have used it it has opened a save dialog box so I, I can save this image wherever I want right so my paint was already closed you can see again I will do it I will press windows P which will open paint paste, paste the image and then press control S which will save it right so this is the thing that uh, that I want to automate I have already automated it and it saves time okay now 
this is the favorite one and many of you will be using this all of us have only one clipboard if we copy something it is there on it is there one time and if I again copy something else the previous copy will get erased and the new copy will be saved in, in into a clipboard now with auto hotkey I can have multiple clipboard so here this is a uh, this is a program this is a, a script for having multiple clipboard this is a function and here I have three clipboards control numpad one will, will copy the selected text in clipboard one and control numpad 4 will paste anything that is there in clipboard 1 right similarly control numpad 2 will copy selected text into a clipboard 2 and control numpad 5 will paste the select paste whatever is there in clipboard 2 right similarly control numpad 3 will uh, will copy the selected text into a clipboard 3 and numpad 6 will paste it okay i'll show you by, by using this example okay so this is my first clipboard I am pressing control and numpad 1 okay now I am selecting the second thing second text and I want to save it in the second clipboard so control numpad 2 will save it in the second clipboard this is a third clipboard and I am pressing control 3 on the numpad for pasting it to for pasting it to clipboard 3 now if I want to paste something paste the clipboard one i'll press control numpad four i want to if i want to paste clipboard second i'll press uh, control numpad five and if i want to uh, paste the the text in clipboard third i'll press control numpad six so this is how i can get uh, three clipboards and it works anywhere in windows that's great so this was the uh, all that i have found that you should know that you should be using and if you have any doubt if you want to automate some tasks that is not there explicitly or if you are having some doubt you can just uh, reply me into the comments i will try to give you answers as soon as possible this is how i am using auto hotkey to automate most of the tasks i can have multiple clipboards i can do so many things like shortcut auto correct and so many other things right like my video please the like button if you want to more if you want to view more such videos like this you can subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my further videos and if you have any suggestion any any doubt then you can just comment it